can't blame them just keep all the rules in mind let me show you because the heat it does look to linger warm ridge rather that does remain over really the central u.s at this point but look at our little wave our parade of lows we'll call it that stay just to our north this is the big change I've made to the forecast is by Monday. So tomorrow we do see some rain chances lingering and that is because our little low up to the north, but it doesn't last long. Another ridge through Wednesday, but it's really by Thursday. It's fall. That means we get stronger systems. So our first little strong front will move through the winds increase weather whiplash. Let me show you another way to visualize what I was just explaining above average temperatures through the week, but we are gradually cooling by Thursday and Friday by Saturday we will be down in the low 80s as that strong low does approach your key takeaway hot with some showers for the at least first half of the week. This is the change through Wednesday. It's only about 10 to 20% chance, very isolated in nature, but we have a bit more surface level moisture. Let's show futurecast uh, for tomorrow just to get an idea of what we're expecting. Clear skies overnight tonight out the door tomorrow morning, but increasing clouds by the afternoon and the evening will be on top with very scattered storms across the high country and then spilling towards I-25 and the plains. This is nine o'clock, for example. So all day there will be a few rounds of storms that we watch about a 10 to 30% chance, depending where you're located. A lack of cloud cover tonight out the door early tomorrow morning. What's that mean? Comfortable fall like weather 30s and 40s for the high country. Your pick of 50s out across the eastern plains. Hot once again tomorrow, 80s and 90s. The Palmer Divide as per usual. That's the place to be with 70s and 80s up on tap for the high country. So we are cranking the dial. That's what I've been saying lately, just a few degrees. That'll put us at 93 across the metro area. That's about 10 degrees up above average statewide, front range wide. That is the general trend I do expect to see. Boulder, Broomfield County, 70s, 80s, 90s look to be on tap just north of Boulder, the Hillcrest neighborhood, 89 degrees. Remember, increasing clouds. So enjoy the start of the day. Plenty of sunshine out the door. I'm keeping you at about a 10% chance for a shower tomorrow. Now, Wednesday into Thursday, I did show you that strong front that lingers out to our west. Look at the impact that has on the winds. By Wednesday, it's breezy. We'll put gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. It's by Thursday, some areas, especially up across the western slope, you're looking at gust potential up to about 40 miles per hour. So winds, they increase. Our first fall like system is beginning to approach. Otherwise, look at the remainder of the extended forecast. A big weekend. The Broncos bring it at home. We have the CSU Rams and the Buffs playing as well. Weather looks to cooperate, guys, for the most part. So you do have that to look forward to. All right. A lot of